So, Brian, how did you get to Philadelphia? Uh, I was born here. Uh huh. I went to uh, college downtown at University of the Arts, and I went to high school at a performing arts high school just a few blocks away from it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, have you ever had any aspirations to leave, or what, what keeps you here, and what do you like about being here? Uh, my family, my little brother is a drummer, my father's a saxophone player from the area, and um, I've made a whole lot of connections, you know, on the scene working here, and uh, I also have, I'm married, so that, that's kind of kept me staying here. But I do go to New York and see shows and check out what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Why did you uh, apply for this residency? What do you, what interested you? To and I've always wanted to do something that was, uh, you know, on with a large ensemble, creative, maybe, I, I don't know how much, uh, like how much would be improvised or whatever. I, I just like the idea of a large ensemble of all people that I probably wouldn't know and probably haven't played with. And, and then you, you know, it was exciting. Mm -hmm. So I applied and figured to take a chance. If you have a question for me after, you could ask it. But okay. um, if you could play with any drummer, dead or alive, but just one drummer, who would that be? And you, you won't get mad if I don't say you. I will not. <laughs> I definitely won't. I was gonna say just a, a dead drummer. Let's 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 let's, let's stick to a drummer oh, that man. you, a drummer that you couldn't possibly play with. But if you see, there's so in much the afterlife you can play with. Him. Like, are we gonna play every day? You know. Yeah, every day you want someone. Isn't there, isn't there any drummer that you just like imagine would be so great to play with? It would probably just great be great to play with Tony Williams. Uh huh. That'd probably be really a trip. Did you ever see him play live? No. Yeah, no. he was amazing. <laughs> when did you get to see him live? I saw him. Uh, I saw him a couple times, but I saw him once. Maybe he's probably nineteen. 89 in a, a little club in Buffalo, New York. Wasn't a lot of people there, and it was, he just did his thing, you know, with his, I think it was a quintet. Okay. You know, with Jerry uh, Allen. Wallace, uh, no, it was Wallace Roney, Mulgrew Miller. Yeah. Um, I can't remember, actually, I think there was a tenor player too. But yeah, and I, I met him afterwards, and he, I had a very good looking girlfriend at the time. And I was like, wanted to talk to him. He was kind of just like staring at my girlfriend the whole time. Just kind of, <laughs> was much more interested in my girlfriend, you know. He was hanging out, smoking a big cigar, drinking champagne, just all alone, just hanging out, <laughs> chilling. But I, you know, I didn't, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really put together anything very intelligent, to conversation-wise. So I can understand why he was staring at my girlfriend, but. For me, if I was a bass player, like I would like to play with the Tony Williams when he was 18. Right, right, right. Because there was a certain way that he played that was just so organic and just like free and and beautiful and kind of naive. And and later on, he got like so much together technically that it was almost a little bit boring. It was like not spontaneous. So he'd do like a big fill every eight bars, an incredible fill. But right, right, you knew right. he was going to do a big fill. Yeah. And he was, you know, he was playing really loud, you know, right. and never never time. playing soft and yeah. So I I liked the earlier Tony Williams better, but still I mean the guy was is pretty amazing. And he started every concert off by just like he didn't warm up backstage, so he would just come out and start it was obvious he was warming up, but huh. that was like the beginning of the concert. He would just start really slow and then by the end of 5 minutes he was all warmed up and he and then they broke into the first tune. And I, I had heard that he, that's, he did that a lot. Hi, I'm Brian Howell. I play electric and upright bass. Bookmark this page and tune in often as new clips will be added regularly.